If you like working with really figured woods, particularly exotics, and you want to plane them, you may find that you have to use a high angle blade in order to do it effectively. Now let me explain what I mean. This is an infill, and this infill, instead of pitching the blade at 45 degrees like a standard bench plane does, this one is at 55, and sometimes they went up as high as 65. What that does is it changes the angle that the blade is presented to the wood, and although I can't explain it to you, I can tell you that it works. And it is harder to push, but the results can be stellar on a piece of wood like this. Let me demonstrate it. I've got my five and a half with a blade in there that has a 20 degree back bevel. So instead of in changing the frog out, all I did was went in and put a 20 degree back bevel about the 16th, maybe a little wider than that, and I'll show you what kind of performance you get out of it. Now this is a piece of nicely figured maple, and what we pull off of that is just a flawless surface. It's really incredible. Not something you want to leave in your plane all the time because it is definitely harder to push, but when you want it, sometimes it's the only option. So what we're offering is a Wood River blade including the chip breaker. We've gone in and we've used Shapton from start to finish, which is going to give you this beautiful little back bevel. You'll see it, and it's a little better than a sixteenth of an inch wide. If you could see it on an angle, you'll notice it's 20 degrees. We've polished it right up to 16,000. Now, you never touch that back bevel again. Now, it's a little bit different than our normal sharpening procedure, whereas we would flip the blade over as a last step and remove any burr. But in this case, what you're going to do is sharpen your bevel going through the secondary and the tertiary and then instead of doing anything to the back you can simply rub it on a piece of soft wood. I use the, the palm of my hand to just flip that back and forth and usually any little burr will have already fallen off when you did the 16,000 ter uh, tertiary bevel on the main bevel. So that's it and uh, buy it, pop it into your plane and instantly you've got a high angle high performance plane that will change the way your success has been in dealing with high-figured woods and exotics in particular.